What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. Since I'm about Scream 6 in this video here again today. In this video, I just want to say that there's gonna be four ghost face killers present in this idea that I have for Scream 6. So you'll end up getting the three revealed at the end. The fourth person will be someone whose identity you will not have revealed until Scream 7, when this person is finally introduced. Uh, and I will just say that that fourth person I'm thinking of as of right now would still be Leslie Mocker. And she would end up being a killer that you don't find out about until Scream 7 when something else takes place that is just entirely her and maybe a partner that she has. But jumping into what the main stuff here would be, as you see in the thumbnail, this would be mostly about Christina Carpenter donning the ghost face mask. And basically, she would, of course, be targeting her daughter, Sam, out of anger and just frustration with the girl and more recently what she recently caused to happen to tara because of her connection to billy loomis and you know in a lot of ways this would just be christina's own way of putting her own self-hatred out onto sam and those close to her like chad mindy as well and trying to just get back at sam for not only destroying their the relationship she had with uh tara's dad causing a lot of tension in the home between herself and tara causing a lot of trouble among the streets in woodsboro we don't even know how that necessarily impacted how christina herself was viewed in the community because we don't specifically know what all sam was doing we just know she, she seems to have a very a, a a minor criminal history uh so this could be a woman who is just very hateful and nasty towards her mother, wants to get back at her for things that she blames her for, and really she should be blaming herself for her, her, her own poor decision-making, not taking it out on her daughter. But she'll basically don the ghost face mask, and what could happen is not only is she going to be the killer, she has somehow gotten back with Tara's dad, who could be a character that is like in the background more so than Christina, who I say should be someone who we get introduced to. We learn who they are. We know what they look like. But then you have Tara's dad who's present in the narrative, but you don't really get to see him too much. You don't even get explicitly told that that's Tara's dad. It's just someone who's there and they're playing a different role. Similar to how Mrs. Luma was going around as Debbie Salt. This could just be someone who's never in a scene with Sam and Tara for that reason because they're going for the same effect that you get at the end of Scream 2 when Sydney's character was finally in a scene with uh, Debbie Salt's character. So you can have that shock value happen when you find out that this person is Tara's dad and he's an accomplice to Christina. Now, why would he be an accomplice to Christina? Manipulation, gaslighting, uh, never fell out of love with the woman. And, you know, he's always just wanted to be back with the woman and maybe there could be some blackmail going on there as it relates to Tara's dad and some stuff that he's been doing in between the time he left the family and now. And since he wanted to get back with Christina all this time, he's he's wholeheartedly in on taking taking his uh, frustration out on Sam as well, since over time, that's not his daughter. So he's had enough time to not only let that sink in but also maybe misplace some blame as it relates to Sam when he should again be blaming Christina, who's again manipulating and gaslighting him into being an accomplice. The manipulation of Tara's dad also could be coming from a place of us now learning that he's always had a hatred towards Billy Loomis. And even in high school, when Christina was flirting with Billy, he was told that Billy was not someone he should be concerned with. There's nothing to worry about there. Now you find out all these years later that you should have been worried about that dude. He had a child with your woman. She lied to you about it, but but Christina has manipulated him into taking that frustration and blaming uh, Sam, who was just another Loomis taking something from you. Don't let it happen again. If you want me back, we have to get rid of Sam. And again, he's already developed this disdain for Sam anyway because he views Sam as a representation of everything he hated about Billy. And Billy, again, could have been someone who bullied him in high school. I talked about this in a video once before. You could have the third killer out of these, out of this duo. There could be a third killer with them who is someone connected to a criminal past that or criminal act of Sam 
They are a relative of someone who got caught up in one of Sam's criminal schemes and unfortunately died. So that loved one has been tracked down. They're an accomplice to Christina and Tara's dad. Everyone in the party just has a disdain for, for Sam and they want to get back her. Their goal would, of course, be in Christina's mind. It's pretty easy come being the mother of, of, of the daughter of Billy Loomis. She will just put up a narrative that Sam wanted to get back at her for not telling her about who her real father was. And she just she just snapped. She's just like her father. You know, the whole she's just like her father angle again. That could be what they try to blame Sam for and frame her for it as they want to present it to the authorities when this is all said and done, if they were to get away with it. Now, as it relates to a fourth killer, this is someone who, again, would not be connected to what these three are doing. This is someone who, again, is Leslie Mocker. This would be an isolated incident that takes place at the opening of the film where it happens with Mark, Sidney or the babysitter getting attacked in their house. And they're unsuccessful at killing Sydney or Mark, so they just go away. They're not even involved in anything else in the movie. But because of what happens in this one, Scream 7 would be the time where you learn who this fourth killer is. You learn about Leslie Mocker. You learn about how she wants to stop people from profiting off of all these tragedies. She's tired of the cinema exploitation. She hates the Stab franchise. She specifically hates the survivors who keep on profiting and benefiting from real world tragedies. Meanwhile, no one seems to care about how the Mockers never benefited from any of this. How they were pushed out of Woodsboro. How they basically have been ostracized from society. How Stu's parents' mental, mental health declined. How it affected Leslie, how it affected her raising her son. She's also lost her son. She wants to put an end to it. And because she was unsuccessful at killing Sydney and her husband when she was trying to start that process in Scream 6, she just takes a step back. She's not going to have anything to do with Tara's dad, Christina, and that third killer. She won't have anything to do with that. She's going to then reappear in Scream 7, borrowing a page from some of these killers because she sees that she can't just do this alone if she's going to take out all these people who, in her mind, need to stop benefiting from real-world tragedies. She's tired of the cinema exploitation, and she just wants to put an end to it once and for all. That's how you could do a Scream 7 as it relates to a fourth killer who would not get revealed here. But in the back of the audience's mind, you would think that, hey, they didn't even talk about breaking into Sydney's house. So where's the fourth killer? You'll get your answer in Scream 7. Uh, that's just what I'm thinking of. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and this video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, if there's any movies, news, or reviews I'm going to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.